With winter time approaching, trail conditions are about to change from dry and fast to slow and wet, which means no grip. And today we've fitted spike tires in the ultimate quest to find grip. The bike that we're going to be running this experiment on today is my high bike All Mountain 7. It's an electric mountain bike. And I think this is perfect because it's going to be the best bike for testing out grip in general bad slippy trail conditions. This is the back wheel out of this bike which I actually only tubeless the other day so I don't really want to be taking this one apart. Here we have my spare wheel and an old tyre which is going to be absolutely perfect for ramming screws through. Then up here we have our screws 4.8 by 16 millimeter. I think that these are going to be the perfect width to give stability but length to dig into the mud and give you insane grip. Let's get this packet open and get the first pack of screws in the tire. That's the first 25 spikes fitted to the tire and it looks pretty insane actually. It'd be a cool Mohican wouldn't it? You'd be like a punk rocker. It's like a mixture between Slipknot and Bane out of Batman. What we're doing is, I'm just following the tread pattern on the back of the tire here. As you can see, I've got these three blocks which I'm doing both sides and that is hopefully going to be giving us a tread pattern which not only offers side grip but also optimum grip in the middle. We do need to put this in the bike and test it for clearance on the back wheel to make sure it's not going to hit the frame and cause any damage to the bike. Right the wheel's in, it's now time for the moment of truth. It worked, it's cleared the frame which is perfect, it means that the experiment is now going to work. I think we'll get the wheel back out. Let's get the rest of this screwed up. I mean, we can see what it's going to look like roughly from that, and I'm excited. 140 screws later, and a whole roll of duct tape to act as a rim tape, stopping these screws punching the tube. We're now ready to try and fit it, which is going to be easier said than done because it looks like one of those police spike strips. It's like I'm just grabbing a cactus. Wow, that looks absolutely terrifying. Imagine stopping that with your hand. That is like spinning a circular saw in here. It's so dangerous. Let's get the front one done and then we can take a look at this thing and all of its glory if you want to call it that. What on earth have we created? This thing looks so incredibly dangerous but amazing at the same time. I just want to throw it out there if you're watching this and you are maybe a bit younger I wouldn't recommend trying this at home. It is so gnarly like that is absolutely lethal. As bad as this looks and as much as it's a bad idea I'm going to go out and give this a test. So let's spin to the first test location. We've made it to the first zone where the spike bike will take flight for the first time and it's not really designed for concrete but seeing as this is where we've parked, this will be the first test area. I'm a bit scared, I don't really want to just double punch her instantly. It feels so weird. <laughs> oh, I've got, I've picked up debris. I'm not sure how I feel about that on concrete. It's not really designed for that, but there is a field just over there, which I think this will have ultimate performance. So let's go and give it a try on the surface it was actually intended for. Right, first try on the dirt then. And that, oh wow, that doesn't even make a noise already. That's incredible. Because these are tires are slick, I've got them inside out, which means that obviously normally they'd be well slidy on the grass. Oh my God, looking down at that front tire though looks terrifying. You wouldn't want to land on that. <laughs> they actually worked so good. 
I can't believe that. They've passed the first test then. Let's try find a zone with some hill climbs and some features that we can test some grip levels out. I'm a little bit disappointed because we've come to a zone which is normally so good for e-bike challenges where it's slippery and wet, but I can't believe I'm saying this in the UK. It's actually far too dry for the studded tires. However, there is still a few bits. There's a little stream here and hopefully that is gonna break some traction and give us the best opportunity to see how much grip these studded tires actually offer. Look at the grip, I've literally got the front brake on. <laughs> that is incredible. I know that's not the biggest slope in the world, but it is damp and it is, it would be slippery on a normal bike. And I basically had the brake as hard as I could there and my nobbles were digging in, providing grip. I do just need to mention that some of you might notice the tires are actually the right way around now. Basically, after the first clips, we tried riding to this spot and I got a puncher on both wheels. And to make it work, I had to change the tire around the other way and screw through the nobbles. It provided the screw a bit more stability and meant it didn't pierce the tube. And this seems to be working perfect. Let's find something a bit more challenging. Little slip on the route. Huh? Oh, guys. Oh, let's do the grip. Oh. Oh. I nearly landed on the wheel. Oh. 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 Let's try that climb again. Oh, my God. Go on. Back up the hill. Go on. Yes. Yo. <laughs> you know what? That grip is insane. You can just fit like there. I was pedaling so slow and for sure on a norm, it would have slipped. I'm going to do it on Cara's bike and probably not make it up there in wheel spin. There she is, the beautiful bike. But I've actually let Tom on and that's probably not the best idea in the world because... Oh! Straight away. My see? God. Yeah, straight away. See? Wheel spin. Yeah. Wheel spin. And I had more momentum actually. Right, I found another one which has got a lot of water. So you've got to go down it, turn around in the water, and then back up. Oh god. It's got to go for it, I think. Oh my god. on earth. Oh, oh, oh no! <laughs> You're in! My foot's in. Do you want some help? No. Oh, oh, Wheel no. spin. so draggy in the water. Yeah. There's like a curb sized route there, which I can't get over. Line's insanely slippery. There's roots which are like the size of a curve, which I can't bump up. So we're going to move on because we're in the middle of a dog walk. So let's go find a new zone. That session was cut a bit early there, but I don't think I could have done it anyway. There was just these huge roots which I actually couldn't make it up, and yeah, it was pretty difficult. Screws are perfect for screwing into wood, and I want to try this log ride challenge. It's like a skinny, but it's also rounded, and my tyres are slippery. So normally this would be super tough and tech and we're going to see how much easier it's made by the spikes. <laughs> it 
It's still slippery, I just stripped the log. <laughs> Over there. Hey, sunset, literally. That was insane. It was so difficult because the spikes work. They stick into the bark so well. But the problem is that log's missing quite a lot of the bark. So when I was on the slippery stuff, because it's rounded and wet, if I wasn't directly in the centre, no matter how big the spikes are, they just slide off. The other thing, on the bark, when I was trying to turn from one log to the other, it's like the, the spikes are sticking, making it hard to maneuver the bike. And all I can describe it as is like you're playing with Velcro and you've got it stuck to your gloves or something because I can't like make precise movements. It's like all messy and difficult. So they work in one way, but make it more difficult in others. We're beginning to lose light now as the day draws to an end and it has been incredible. I've had this idea in my head for a while and to see it come together, we did have a few issues along the way, but we overcome them and they work. They're perfect in one way, they offer insane grip and I couldn't believe on some of those slippery wet banks how it was just pulling me up there. But on the other hand, they are quite grippy you wouldn't go to a bike park because they would probably damage the tracks and the jumps which someone has built and they're just pretty dangerous you wouldn't really want to slip or fall onto them spikes because they would tear you to pieces but i've enjoyed testing this out today and i think with winter coming and the wet months and maybe if we get snow and ice in the uk these are going to be ready to just throw straight on the bike and they're going to be perfect and also if you're watching this and you own an ice rink i would really appreciate if you'd let me come and have a go and test these out unfortunately that is the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please give us a thumbs up leave your comments below and i'll see you guys in the next one I'm like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit If it moves, gotta grab it Fuse like a magnet, lose, won't have it Till I'm doomed in a casket I ain't playing, got a weird mind If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine If the shit tastes sour, you should taste mine I'ma stay in power for a long time Get up, nah, I ain't a